Hey, what's going on? Man, I'll tell you what. No one said it was ever, ever um, easy to try to build a business while um, working a full-time job with overtime, right? Just like Jesus. I get home and uh, you know how many times I'm just like literally in the middle of doing something and then I'm just kind of like start fucking like sleeping and I'm like actively recording an audiobook right now so it's like what the fuck um it's like holy shit you get um you know like it's so much time to shine sometimes it's just like you gotta really appreciate those days you get off and uh I gotta find a better way to do it so I don't fall into the temptation of starting to snooze while I'm doing shit so I think my new approach is I'm going to after I get done with every little section, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple push-ups, do a couple sit-ups, and just uh, get the system fired back up a little bit. Sometimes it gets really cold, but I think just think that's because I just think that's because it's my body trying to shut down. You know, get ready for sleep. <clears throat> I am working on unusual hours, so that's just the nature of the game, I suppose. And. Uh, this weekend's going to be a little bizarre for me because, I mean, I, I never really said it on the, you know, on YouTube or anything like that, but my squirrel passed away, at, um, it's been like a couple months now, and, uh, I don't know, that cage that I built for is about to be disassembled, and my wife wants to start using that area as a patio, and, uh, Time to bury the hatchet and put some of that old shit. Well, I don't know if bury the hatchet really makes sense in this. Since it's not a dispute between another person. But it's time to throw away those old, uh, <clears throat> old relics. It's just like, fuck. You know, that's like the last thing that was a big impact on my life. And I'm just going to be literally throwing it in the trash, essentially. <sighs> but I figure that's the kind of stuff that you... That's what moving on is, you know? I wish I could have repurposed it somehow. Hell, you know, there's a point where we had shit tons of animals, like over a hundred. Squirrel being just one of them. A whole bunch of hedgehogs, prairie dogs, sugar gliders, crested geckos, snakes, you name it. And then now we are living in a day where we have only the dog and a rabbit. Uh, well, I guess we got one python, but shit, we're down to three animals, regular ass amount of animals. Feels different. It's a different change of pace for sure. But that's the nature of the game. You know, there's not a whole lot of time to really do much with the animals. That's why we got rid of the chickens. I feel like they're just going to get neglected anyways, especially with these kind of ambitions. But shit, I know it's all worth it in the end. I know even if there's some dull days and situations where stuff's not getting done like I'd like to, it's all building up to something. So... That's the one positive side of it all. But man, I'll tell you what, there is shitloads of disappointment in the, in the middle of all that. You wanna try so fucking hard and you can't even stay awake half the time because you gotta work on natural hours just to make shit, you know, ends meet. This is more of just me talking this time around. I don't have anything super inspiring to talk about. I mean, by no means am I like in depressed or anything, it's just more of a realization, it's just like, whew. Mainly about getting rid of that squirrel cage, was symbolized and made me write my whole book and all that crap. But, you know, that's natural progression of life. Once it's gone, I probably won't notice much after that. But, I'm doing this turn break so I don't have much time, so have a wonderful day.